So, uh, today I received a uh, package in the mail today, <clears throat> which was from Casemate. That's case-mate.com. I received the package. Um, I ordered a HTC uh, Amaze 4G hard case. Um, this is uh, the hard case from, from uh, Casemate. The model number for that is HTC Amaze-TUF, um, and uh, that is the HTC Tough case. Um, this is a uh, hard backing for the case, and along the top side of it, um, actually, sorry, along the uh, the bottom and the top are uh, rubbery type uh, material, uh, whereas in the sides are hard or plastic. So uh, today, I just wanted to show you what it looks like and uh, to show you how it looks like when it's installed and how to install it. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and open this up. I will say with my order from uh, Casemate, uh, I made the order on um, January the 18th and received it this morning, which is the 26th. So uh, the delivery time was uh, amazingly fast. It did come in from the US. So, um, and I am in Canada, so it did, uh, did take a couple of days, but I was very impressed because the quoted time um, was uh, four, uh, three to four weeks. So, um, I said very impressed with that. Now, um, this case is uh, kind of two cases in one. Let me show you. So we have the hard outer shell, which is here. Uh, pretty hard it's a hard plastic and then you have the inner silicone shell um, which is uh, which is what fits around the actual foam um, and then this fits inside of a hard case so uh, let me show you what this looks like when it's put on so I have here the HTC uh, 4G Amaze um, so, to slip it on, basically you just slide it into the casing like so. Okay, so it fits in. Um, fits in pretty snug. It actually does, um, if you look very closely here, it does go over the, uh, the rim of the HTC. So it does protect the, um, the glass face of the HTC. Uh, for GMAs. On the side here we do have the port for the, um, the power as well as data. We do have a hole here for the uh, speaker jack. You do have a, a, a section here that does press down for the power button. <clears throat> you have a cutout for the speaker as well as the micro uh, sorry as well as the camera. On the side, you do have uh, the rocker here for the volume, as well as the other rocker here for uh, the video, as well as the, um, the picture uh, or still picture um, buttons. On the bottom, you do have a uh, spacing here for the mic. On the back, um, I believe this is the back side of the mic. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not too sure. I think that is the back side of the mic. And this is back to the other side. So this is what it looks like on the front and on the back. Now, once we have it in the case here and it's nice and secure, which, which it is, basically we're going to slide this into the harder shell case. Um, the shell case uh, does have a model number here on it. Um, Looks like the uh, the casemate, yeah. It is the uh, the casemate logo. So, not sure if you can see that, but that is the casemate logo there. So I'll just slide this into the case. It looks like you just kind of push it in.
Okay, so when you push it in, you'll notice that there is a bit of a of a, a, a snag here where some of your your case is protruding um, from the other side. You notice it doesn't actually fit in all the way here. I'm going to try that again, simply because what I did when uh, putting it in there, I, I slipped it in from one side. Um, so one side is nice and snug, whereas on the other side um, is the, the other side is the one that's being pushed on. So let me try that again. Just, just kind of try it from. Let's see if I can uh, do this a little differently. Now, unfortunately, as you saw, um, the uh, the case doesn't include any instructions. I guess it. I guess it's self-explanatory. So I'm going to try it from this side here where it does have the volume rocker. <clears throat> and uh, basically just to line it up and then push it in. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, that certainly does make a difference. When you slide it in here, there's more, um, more things protruding on the side here. So it is harder to, uh, to get it to fit in the case. If you slide it in from this side, so put this side in first, and then push it in on the other side here, there's only the, um, uh, the power uh, section there, and that because there's nothing protruding from there too much, um, it's a lot easier. So just to show you what it looks like when it's, when it's uh, in there, you'll see that uh, it's not uh, um, uh, being pushed outside of the, the hard case, as well as on this side here also not being pushed as well. So um, it's a very, um, I would say, very light case. Um, it does appear to protect the case very well. Um, you know, as I said, all of the, uh, the holes here for the case uh, are accessible and um, you, know, you are able to access them without, without any difficulty. It does enlarge the case. It does enlarge the phone um, a little bit, but uh, you know what? My personal opinion, I would give up uh, enlarging the phone with protecting the phone. Um, <clears throat> my previous phone, um, which I actually still do have, um, was a uh, an iPhone um, four. Now the iPhone four, <laughs> the first day that I got it, I dropped it and uh, it hit the corner. The, uh, hit the ground and, and uh, on the corner of it, it did um, create a dent. And after it created that dent, any silicone, uh, sorry, any um, screen protector that I, I put on the case, the corner of it would uh, would create an air bubble, and uh, that would be more or less a permanent air bubble because I couldn't uh, get it to sit down flat on the uh, on the face of the phone. So, um, so yeah, you do want to you do want to put a case on your cell phone uh, as quickly as you can as soon as you get it, so you don't damage that phone. So um, I've had this phone for a couple of weeks now. Um, luckily, I haven't dropped it. I haven't damaged it in any way. So um, just in time, I got the case um, and was able and, and I'm now able to protect it. So um, I am able to. Um, I'll just turn this uh, the cell phone on now. So I'll just turn it on here and uh, just starting it up. So as it starts up here, <clears throat> I'll just uh, show you what it looks like on the screen. And uh, just does take a little bit to, um, to start up. So once it is started up, then uh, I'll just show you the options. So one of the options here was the uh, power button. So the power button is accessible. We can unlock the phone. We can increase the volume by pressing the uh, the sides here uh, for the volume rocker. Um, for the uh, button on the side, this is the uh, the camera mode. So that is the camera. That's my hand on the back side there. Um, or we can switch it to uh, the video mode. Um, <coughs> On the other side, as I said, you do have access to the um, power and the data, as well as the camera, and obviously you were able to see uh, my finger on the other side, so you do see camera, and that is excellent. You did hear the uh, speaker when I was adjusting the, adjusting the, the volume rocker, 
And uh, as I said, do have the, um, the jack there for the, uh, the speaker. So, um, all in all, I must say that uh, I am impressed by this case. It does, uh, I wasn't expecting a two-in-one case, which is a nice prize. Um, two-in-one cases are a little better, um, simply because you can separate them, clean them, um, as well as, uh, you know, if you were your, uh, your science, your, um, uh, when uh, you drop your phone, you'd rather have two cases because uh, the first case will take the impact, the second case will, will uh, be able to protect the phone. So, um, it is, uh, I would say this is the first case that I've had for the, um, the HTC forum. Um, it does seem to be impressing me already with the quality of the case. It does have a straw on the back, which is a nice texture. It's te not, um, it's not like the silicone um, type case where, you know, j they just feel, they just feel thing after a while. Um, uh, that is the, the, um, the case mate. Um, this is the, uh, the 4G, uh, uh, the HTC 4G uh, Amaze. This is the tough case. The model number for this is HTC Amaze TUF. The point for this is $35. Um, Casemate had a 50% sale the other day, um, and I was able to pick this up for half the price. Um, now, just to give a, a good idea. With this folder, as well as the black playbook pop case, which in this case here, um, I, I received both items from Casemate this morning. The Blackberry <coughs> Casemate, uh, sorry, the, the Casemate uh, word playbook pop, that's uh, uh, BBP, B P O P is the model number. For this, is uh, $3, once again, all half price. This is obviously a black model. The pop features um, a pop-up section here. You can um, bend the, the Blackberry playbook side, so vertically or horizontally um, when you're, uh, when you're uh, viewing. So both of these items shipped to Canada, to Toronto to be exact, um, shipped from the U.S costs $5.24. Uh, US dollars. So in total, my order, the 50% off discount, to come up to $42.74 USD. So that is a uh, pretty good pricing for both of these cases. And uh, my next video, uh, once I receive my playbook, which is currently on back order, I will be uh, reviewing the, uh, the case. Uh, or a playbook called Pop Kiss. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, that will be uh, a follow. -up. Please rate me this current video.